guys, in this video we're going to unbox and review this 116 scale brushless buggy that's supposed to do 52 kilometers an hour. So it's a X Ling Hong Toys Spurt. So it's fully bull race, brushless motor, steel drive shafts. Ah, enough of that. Let's get it cracked open. I'm going to put a link down below if you want to see the full specs. Subscribe. Oh, guys, check it out. So it feels like it's got quite a good little bit of weight to it. And having a look through the instructions, it looks to have metal gears, metal shafts, metal differentials, fully ball raced. So I'm hoping this is going to be pretty good. Let's stick it on the scales there. There you can see 886 grams. And that is including the lipo inside there. So let's crack that body shell off and have a little look inside. So starting off at the front, we have double wishbone suspension with these really heavy duty drive shafts here. They actually look a lot bigger than what is normally commonly found in trucks of this size. So we've got some shocks here. They don't have any oil in there. It doesn't feel like there is anyway. Uh, moving further down the truck, we've got a top center chassis section here, brushless motor, speed controller with built-in receiver, servo, lipo battery, moving on to the rear, pretty much again, the same as we had up front, but with a wheelie bar on the back. So what you get in the box is the car, the battery, charger, radio, some little lighty thingamajig here, which I'm guessing you can mount to the front here and plug it into this receiver unit here. Spare body clips, a wheel wrench, instruction book. The only thing you need to supply yourself is three AA batteries. So size wise, we're looking at round about 1 16th scale. So we're looking at round of about 11 inches long, 9 inches wide, and just under 5 inches tall. So the radio looks fairly adequate, so it looks like it's fully proportional. And to charge the batteries, all you do is plug that into there, and this into a USB port. Alright, so we're going to let that charge, and then we're going to take it out for a little blast. Alright, battery's all charged up, so let's plug him in, turn on the radio, switch on the car. Alright, the steering's got plenty of power, fully proportional, so that means you can steer a little bit, and you can go all the way. And then the same with a thrustle. I don't know what to expect here. Oh, right, so it doesn't seem as aggressive as I was expecting, but let's take it outside and give it a blast. Oh, guys, look how bendy it all is. And that's a good thing, because when you crash, it means it probably won't break. It's just going to flex and then pop right back out. All right, let's go. <laughs> All right, let's see how fast it can go. That's not 40. Oh. oh, tumble one ball. Can I self light it? Not quite. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go, flat out, gonna hit the jump. Nice. Oh, ha <laughs> oh, ha. tumbles. Guys, I want to see if it can really do 42 kilometers. I'm not sure what that is in mile an hour. I might put a conversion up on the screen here. 
Here he goes. Well, that's flat out. All right, there we are. Flat out. Oh, guys, I can't get it to record speed. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. So I've looked at the instructions, and on the GoPro, you have to turn, turn on GPS. And apparently, you know the GPS is live when this little thing here goes white. It's gone off now, but when you're, out, when you're outdoors, that goes white like that, and then it should work. So I made sure that that was white. It did work. And then I imported it onto my computer. And apparently what you have to do is you have to go to whatever the video is and then click on this little gauge thingy-majig here. And then you're supposed to turn on the gauges, but it says no GPS data. So I don't know what the hell's going on, guys. If anybody knows, let me know in the comments. All right, new location, little skate park. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I'm not sure if she's 42 kilometers nippy, but she's nippy. Oh, front flip. And it landed on the nose. And I did take that nose landing. Oh, perfectly. Flexible bumper doing its job. Oh, oh that got some air. <laughs> this thing jumps pretty good and look I'm doing it one handed as well so I haven't got the full skills flat out <laughs> loves it oh tumble one ball oh took a bounce laughing at me <laughs> maybe cold <laughs> well I thought it was called a spur it's a spirit <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah all right back in the shop and so far no breakages the thing handled pretty good it took the jumps well no breakages uh, everything is good I think it's down to these kind of flexible plastics uh, you know when you take when it takes an impact it kind of absorbs it rather than breaking I've just quickly unscrewed the shock absorber here and if you look in there uh, I don't think they're actually all fillable there's no piston in there just a screw so um, that's the only downside I can see on this so far is um, you know if you put some oil filled chocks on there uh, it's going to drive a little bit nicer it's a little bit bouncy with no oil in there also uh, it runs really, really cool. It doesn't get very hot at all. Acceleration is instant, but it could do maybe gearing up a little bit. So we're going to see in a future video, maybe I can put a big opinion on there and gear it up a little bit and get a bit more speed out of it. We'll see. We'll see that for a future video. 